Hello, everyone. Another day at Cindy Harper Speaks and another book. So we are going to read about landslides. It is by Linda Hartley, Danger Landslides. So we're going to find out what happens in a landslide. A rock climber in Yosemite National Park. One warm summer evening, a rock climber was climbing Washington Column in Yosemite National Park in California. He soon learned that these tall mountains can sometimes be very dangerous. The climber heard a loud crack and boom. He thought he had heard thunder from a storm and he looked around, but it was not thunder. It was a landslide. Giant rocks were falling down the side of Glacier Point, a nearby mountain. More than 160,000 tons of rock fell. The rocks moved at 160 miles an hour. The rock climber stood and watched the huge landslide with his mouth open. This is, it says a landslide on the side of a mountain. A landslide happens when soil and many rocks move from a high place to a lower place. Landslides do not happen very often, but when they do happen, they change the way the earth looks. For millions of years, landslides have changed the earth's surface. The half dome of Yosemite can be seen from Glacier Point. I have a friend who has climbed half dome of half dome a few times. Natural erosion causes many landslides. Wind and water wear away rocks and soil over time. Rain and melting snow can move the rocks and soil. If the land is steep, there may be a landslide. Geologists think that erosion caused the landslide at Glacier Point in Yosemite. The two diagrams show what happens during a landslide. Before a landslide, after a landslide. Look at the difference in the earth. Geologists are scientists who study the earth. They know that landslides happen more often in, a, in certain places. They study the rock, soil, and underground water. They look at how steep the mountain is they often know where a landslide may happen, but they can't be sure when it will happen. Most landslides are fast, powerful, and dangerous, but there is one landslide called the Slum Gullion landslide that moves very slowly. The name Slum Gullion means watery meat stew. Three geologists study a landslide in Washington State. Watery meat stew, slum gullion. The slum gullion landslide in the 1800s, the slum gullion landslide today. The slum gullion landslide in Colorado is more than 300 years old. This landslide was also caused by natural erosion, but it moves very slowly. Over time, the landslide has changed the way the mountain looks. Geologists use maps and photos to study landslides like the Slum Gullion. They make the maps using photos that were taken from airplanes or satellites. Can you see the changes at Slum Gullion in the photos above? Some landslides are called by, caused by volcanoes. When a volcano erupts, tons of rocks and dirt can come down its sides very quickly. The volcano's power can cause a huge and deadly landslide. In 1980, Mount St. Helens, a volcano in the state of Washington, erupted. A side of the mountain broke away. There was a great explosion. Gas and red hot lava poured out. The landslide destroyed millions of trees <clears throat> and everything else in its path. The night in 1980, Mount St. Helens volcano erupted.
The Mount St. Helens landslide was huge, but a much bigger landslide was found underwater in the Atlantic Ocean. It was caused by an underwater volcano thousands of years ago. It was more than six times as large as the landslide at Mount St. Helens. More than six times as large. Underwater volcanoes have caused the largest landslides ever found. Geologists found huge rock slides in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. Some of the rocks were moved over 100 miles from the volcano. Geologists do not know how the rocks could move so far underwater. Earthquakes also cause landslides. In an earthquake, large parts of the earth move suddenly. This sudden shock loosens rocks and soil on steep mountains. They fall down in a powerful landslide. In Montana in 1959, an earthquake caused a huge landslide. The entire side of a mountain fell into a river. By studying places where earthquakes happen, geologists make predictions about landslides. They usually know where landslides are likely to happen within the earthquake zones. An earthquake caused this huge crack in the earth. Look at this. Earthquakes also cause powerful landslides. Slide area. In some places, large fences prevent landslides from falling onto roads. <clears throat> Excuse me. We know that natural corrosion, volcanoes, and earthquakes can cause landslides, but people can cause landslides too. Roads and houses are built on the sides of mountains. Sometimes these buildings change the natural surface of the earth and cause landslides. Often, there are landslides near mountain roads. These roads were built by rope workers who disturb the mountains. The roads are built on steep slopes that increase the chance of a landslide. Road signs may warn drivers to watch out for falling rocks. Road builders try to do things to prevent landslides. Builders use wire fences to keep falling rocks from landing on the road below. Sometimes they put large metal bolts in the rocks so they will not fall. Clear cutting can leave huge areas without trees. Another way people cause landslides is by clear cutting. When people cut all the trees on the steep mountain, it's called clear cutting. This can increase the chance of landslides. The trees have roots that hold the rocks and soil in place. Without the trees, the rains may wash the rocks and soil down the mountains. In Oregon, many people think landslides there are getting worse because of clear cutting. Some houses are built on mountains so that people may enjoy beautiful views, but many of these houses are in dangerous places where there may be landslides. In a landslide, the ground moves under the houses. The houses slide down the mountain. At other times, tons of rocks can fall on the houses. House builders are finding safer ways to build on mountains. They dig deep into the mountain and take away rocks and soils that could slide onto the houses. These houses built on a hill in Hollywood, California, are not safe from landslides. Builders and engineers study the land before they build a house. Geologists help them and give them information about where landslides might happen. They help builders by telling them where to build the houses, schools, and roads. When there is the danger of a landslide, a geologist warns a builder not to build there. But unfortunately, some houses and other buildings are built on land that is not safe. Landslides can bury the buildings in moments. The photo on the right shows a mudslide that destroyed these California homes. Geologists are always looking for new ways to study landslides. They want to learn better ways to predict where and when a landslide will happen. By studying landslides, geologists can help to protect people from these powerful natural events. Natural erosion, volcanoes, and earthquakes cause most landslides. People also cause some of them, but all landslides are dangerous and powerful. They change the world in which we live. This giant landslide happened at Red Mountain in Colorado. 
Well, I hope you learned some things about landslides. They can be very dangerous. And if you like this, press like at the end. And I'll see you next time at Cindy Harper Speaks. Thanks for tuning in and bye for now.